happy Wednesday and welcome to our crafty session. I believe this is number 90 or 91. So welcome, welcome, welcome to my happy space, aka my craft room. I love spending time in here and I love creating and sharing projects with you. My name is Ann Granger and I'm an independent demonstrator here in Canada and I'm excited you're joining me. Whether you're watching live, you're gonna see the live button up top or whether you're watching me on the replay, that could be at any time of day. I'm excited you're here with me. It feels like forever since we've crafted together. Um, a recap, a couple weeks, my daughter is on a trip right now, so I had to help her pack, and then I'm trying to get stuff done outside in the gardens, and weather has been, like, great, then it's been cold, like, today, like, right now, it's supposed to, we're in a frost morning for tonight here in Ontario, and then to top it all off, I got sick last week, and that took me out for a whole week, so I'm so sad that I missed last week, but I'm excited to be with you guys tonight. We are creating one card tonight, um, A, because I was sick and didn't really get much time to, to work in my room, but also I'm just going to be like changing things up with Facebook Live, so um, as I'm trying to think how I want to move forward with them, I thought tonight we would do one card. As I said, uh, time was limited on the weekend, but I did not want to miss another week, so I thought I would jump on for one crafty session. And tonight we're following along with Global um, the global design sketch challenge. So I will be showing you that. So we have lots to share. Um, there is a brand new catalog. So this is our new 2023-2024 annual catalog. Um, my catalog, I took it and got it binded and then I put everything up here. It is gorgeous. It is beautiful, full of lots of great product. We are using a product tonight from it. If you're here in Canada and you do not have a demonstrator, I would love to help you out. Um, just let me know, message me, and I will pop a catalog in the mail for you. I can go from the West Coast to the East Coast um, and all the way in between. All right, so let me try to find you on my thing. I hope you guys had a great day. It was um, a cooler day here. Um, like, it's been 24, 23, like really warm, and then... Tonight, today, it was like cool. The wind was cool. It was like 15. I actually had to bring a jacket. I actually considered, I thought I wish I had mitts and hats for outdoor duty today. It was so cold. Um, and I just went outside right now and it, the temperature is dropping again. So really crazy. All right, I've got some fun things to share with you. So let's flip the camera and get started. And then I will, we'll get into our creating project. We are making a slim line card tonight. I have never made one. So I'm excited for the global challenge to push me outside my comfort zone and create one. And they're actually pretty easy to make. All right, so I'm gonna flip my camera so you're gonna see my blinds and then we're going to flip you up. If you're here, say hi. And if you could like, comment, and share on this video, that would be great. That helps our crafty community grow. Um, we want to be like crafting with people. We want people joining us, and we want people to have fun because, you know, this world needs some more brightness and kindness and love, and, and creating is one of those ways that you can just brighten someone's day by mailing them a card. So what a better way. All right, so as I did tell you, our new annual catalog is out. This catalog is gorgeous. I'm actually excited we get to share with you. So I'm gonna share with you what we're creating with tonight. Um, we are using the Circle Saying, which is this beautiful stamp set here. It's actually part of a bundle. So right here is the individual, and then right here is the bundle price. So you get the stamp set and the punch, which is a brand new two and three eight circle punch. This stamp set was you really unique about this. If you see this great symbol right here, that means it's a million dollar achiever. So this is Jessica Taylor's million dollar stamp set. So what does that mean, Anne? Well, when you reach one million in sales with Stampin' Up, you get to design a stamp set and work with a concept artist. There are many of these bunt stamp sets throughout the catalog. So if you're looking for one, just look for this symbol. Jessica created a beautiful catalog. I said to my team last night, this is like a little hidden gem. Um, this cupcake alone is so worth the stamp set. But I feel it's one that can take you through some occasions that you might need, whether you need a thank you card, a sympathy card, um, maybe like, 
your awesome card to celebrate. Look at the waves and the beach and the flowers. So we're gonna be using this stamp set tonight and then I have some samples to also share with you. So I'm just gonna put that off to the side. I wanted to read, I tried something new this month. So this month, if you place a $50 order in my online store or email me and use this host code, I am going to send you a pack of these new back adhesive back gems. They are the new um, core colors, some new the colors. Aren't they beautiful? Then if you um, place a $75 order, I will mail you the card kit to create these three beautiful cards using the fresh as the daisy bundle. Cheerful daisy, that's what it's called. The only thing I cannot do for you is stamp your images. So you would need the cheerful daisy bundle. Um, I've used uh, crushed curry, garden green, and pebble. But I will show you, and it's also a fancy fold. So a $75 order, I will create those kits for you and pop them in the mail in June. Um, trying something new with some Facebook lot with um, ordering and things like that. Some specials to add more value for you guys. So $75 order, $50 order gets you this, $75 order gets you the pack using this hostess code you have till May 31st. May 31st, yes, to participate. Okay, let me show you the uh, what we're creating tonight. So this is the Global Design Project website and each week they give us a challenge it could be a sketch challenge it could be a color challenge um it could be case the designer so this was the this challenge this week and i was like you know what i haven't been in my room for a while let's create let's let's look for some inspiration so i saw this and i thought let's create this so we're going to create a slim card tonight um as i said i haven't really created a lot of slim cards so for me to create one it's kind of fun but it's very simple and I really liked how it turned out. And as I said, I also have some other, um, I also have uh, other samples to show you. Hey Jane, thanks so much for joining me tonight. All right, so the products I showed you, I will show you what I'm using, is the um, Circle Sayings. So as I said, uh, you know, to see it in person and not in a book is way better. So it is a photo palmer. It has uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, one, two, three. I think that's, is that together? Is that one stamp or two? Oh, it's two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine greetings. And then it has different images that you can use. And also I showed you earlier in the catalog, it is a million dollar achiever set, which is right here on this. So you know that this is a million dollar achiever. And this was created by Jessica Taylor. She designed it for these images to work greatly with our two and three eight circle punch. Um, we used to carry circle punches and then we retired circle punches, but I feel like they've been a hot, like number one item request. So you can purchase our circle punches again now in our online store. So if you were to go to www.stampwithann.com, hit shop now and go to online exclusives or just search circle punches, you will see the list. Some of our punches are in back order right now, which means they're not available, but they will be available in June, and this is this one is available. So if this is something you're looking at create, adding to your collection, this is one that I'd highly recommend. The other one we're using is um, the paper. This is the Country in Countryside in Designer Series paper. It goes with the Country in Suite. Um, I had challenged myself to get some new paper at the beginning of the month, and I picked a couple patterns, just thought, oh, I really like this one because it has different blues. So it is Night and Navy Boho Blue, um, Misty Moonlight, which is a returning color, and Balmy Blue. So Boho Blue is one of our new 2023-2025 in colors. So I'm going to show you the patterns. What I like about Stampin' Up! is always one side of the pattern is very busy with patterns and then the other side is geometric. So here is the first pattern. And at any time you have any questions, please let me know. How cute is these adorable little foxes? You could totally use that for a baby card. Countryside Inn, I think you're like, you know, on this little countryside, you're in an inn. Like this could be wallpaper on the inn. Um, you're sitting outside, maybe having a coffee or a tea and some like treats. And then these cute little birds and foxes are roaming the, the, um, the, the countryside resort. So how fun is that? I'm a huge bird lover, so I do love this paper. Night, that would be a nice masculine one. 
sweet little bunnies. And then that one. This reminds me of wallpaper. I would see this in somebody's kitchen or dining room. And then that one, even that one. And then there's this one here with this. So that's the designer series paper we are using tonight. Let's get creating. So as I said, we're doing one project tonight. Just because of me being sick last week, I didn't really get a chance to prep a lot. Um, and I'm just trying to move forward thinking how I want to do Facebook Live. So there might be some changes coming. But hey, I'll still be here creating and sharing quick and simple ideas with you. So to make a thin line card, you need a piece of cardstock that is 7 by 8 and a half, And you're going to score it at three and a half. So I already cut this out. This is the Boho Blue. This is one of the new 2023-2024 in colors. I actually really like this blue. It's a pretty, like, it's a really nice, I don't even like, like a bluey gray. I maybe, like, I don't know. I just, I could actually see this in, like, on a wall, like in a bathroom, like, to be nautical, maybe. Um, so we're just folding that in half. I have a piece. Where did my pieces go? Oh, here they are. I have a piece of designer series paper. And it is three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And I will put all these measurements for you after this video up. And I will be uploading this video to YouTube. And I will post this video and the link measurements on my blog, which is www.stampwithand.com. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hear that down. Um, so pretty. Now I'm doing a different pattern than what I did on my sample, just so you can see the different looks of things. All right. And then I have a piece of white that measures three and a quarter by eight and a quarter to go on the inside, but we're just going to leave that for a minute. All right. We're going to be using some circle punches. As I said, our circle punches are available once again in our online store. So we are using a one and three quarter. Okay, then we're use punch that out of the boho blue. And then oops, sticky note sticking. We're gonna use the knight and navy, and we're gonna cut a two-inch circle out of that. So just like that. So I have those. And then we're going to cut out um, our two and, eight, two and three eight circle punch. Now sometimes people will say stamp then punch. As for some things I like to punch then stamp just so I know where I'm going with it. So there is our new two and three eight circle punch. And that punch you can use for many other things, not just for the card itself. Um, I mean, sorry, just for the stamp set itself. You can use it for anything else. Look at all these wonderful. Don't you like have a grid paper that has all these different little images? It's like a little bit of happiness. Some people might find that like busy. Um, it's kind of like my scrap paper, so I don't mind. All right, so I'm going to pull in the stamp set. And we're going to be actually using the one that says, because you're awesome. And we're going to use this flower one. So we're going to stamp the flowers first. And we're actually going to stamp those in boho blue. And then, like I said, after this video, I have a bunch of samples to share with you using this stamp set to give you some ideas of different ways to use it. And we're going to stamp this in night and navy. Remember to like, calm, oops, not night and navy. Sorry, stamping it in boho blue. Look, I caught myself before I stamped it. We will be using night and navy, but just not right at the moment. So let's use boho blue. I'm going to set that up there for now. Okay, so boho. I got to move this closer. Sorry, guys. I can't see it. Uh, yes, boho blue. Okay, so there's our... Oh, and I meant to stamp off. So that one thing about it is you can always flip it because um, I wanted a lighter tone. Oh, I gotta come closer. I can't see that far. I want to make sure that I'm actually getting. So there's that. So what I did was I just stamped in boho blue and then stamped off because I wanted it as a softer tone. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to bring in some scrap paper. Actually, you know what? I can see that underneath. So let's just punch another one. Sometimes if you have dark ink, you can see it. And I can see the dark ink underneath it. So that will be bothering me. So let's redo this over. And then I'm going to bring in this. Okay, so we're doing boho blue. closer so I can see what I'm doing here. I hope you guys had a great day. I would love to know what you guys did. Um, maybe you craft. A lot of my Stampin' Up! friends are on their way to their Norwegian Incensa trip. I so wish I was with them. Um, that is my goal for the next one. I wish them all safe travels. It's so much fun. I love seeing my Stampin' Up! peeps. Uh, they make me happy. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp the flowers in night and navy. Oops, I want to do it a little bit darker. Okay, so we just stamped them. Let's bring that back in, probably because I wasn't on my mat. There we go. Okay, that's better. If you're here, say hi. Let me know you're joining. Um, where you're from, we'd love to hear from you. Um, and I'm going to use the greeting that says, thank, uh, because you're awesome. Because I just thought maybe you'd like to send this card to somebody. So what kind of envelope would I use for this? I probably would create an envelope if you have like a way to do that. Or I would just maybe put it in a business size envelope, a letter size envelope like, that you would get at the store. Because you're awesome. I want to say thank you to all of you guys. You guys are all awesome for joining me tonight. I know life is busy. Um, okay, so I'm just going to close this so I don't stick my finger in it. And I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm just going to set that over to the side for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my paper snips. So these are our paper snips. And they're great if you want to cut little things out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this flower, this flower, and this flower. And we're just going to fussy cut them. Do the best. Um, it is our long weekend here in Canada. Uh, we have one more work day and then it's a PD day. So the kids actually get a four day weekend. Um, and then this weekend I'm looking forward to, um, I'm going to do some work in my gardens. Um, I'm going to craft with some friends. Uh, my mom is coming out. I'm having my big BOGO sale next week. So if you're local and you want to come to my BOGO sale, the best way to find out about my events is to join my newsletter uh, and sign so then you can find out. So I'm doing my annual BOGO sale next week. And then, yeah, and then just some crafting time and just honestly some downtime. I'm really hoping the weather's nice so I can sit out on my deck. What do you guys have planned for this weekend? Whether you're in Canada and it's a long weekend. I know my American friends, their long weekend is coming up. I know my Stampin' Up! friends that are on the Incentive trip. So much things. Uh, so yeah, what else? So I'm just cutting out my flowers right now. I have to bring them closer so I can see them. Because that's what I'm doing. I'm not just, it's harder to cut out that way. So I've cut three flowers out. I'm going to bring in my little um, dots here, my little dimensionals, and we're going to pop them up. And we're just going to, what I did was I literally just matched the flower. Uh, so yeah, this one I think just goes like that. So I'm using little mini dimensionals. They're one of my favorite adhesives. And we're going to match that one. And this one. I think this would be a fun card to do. I actually wanted to recreate another card using this pattern with the uh, Gone Fishing. So you might even see one of those on my 
hopefully get in my room tomorrow night and craft. Great way to, oh, end the week. Okay, so we're just gonna lay this down. And I just wanna make sure I like the placement. I'm actually gonna move mine up a little bit. So my sample that I did, I didn't put that down. Okay, so I kinda like the way that is. So I'm going to grab my adhesive. So I'm using our seal, which I keep forgetting. I place an order and I keep forgetting to order seal. So I need to place an order and do that. So there is one. Remember we are using, our inspiration came from the global project design sketch. Um, and this week's sketch is a, uh, this week's sketch is a, uh, a sketch challenge. I always think it's like a puzzle. I'm just using some leftover adhesives from a kit. Um, I always think it's like a puzzle, like a mystery trying to be solved, right? You have to use ink, paper, and stamps. All right, so we have that there. Then um, I'm gonna stamp the inside. So we're gonna use the Knight and Navy. And we're gonna bring back in our punch. I'm actually gonna put the scissors away. So I can put those away and I can put those away. We're going to use the one that says thank you. So I thought this would be a great thank you card to say, and like, hey, because you're awesome, thanks. Um, maybe they did something to help you. Maybe you wanna give it to a teacher or a coworker or a friend. Maybe they helped you do something. So I'm gonna grab this little like sunburst, a little like ray of sunshine. And I'm gonna do a thank you. Mm -hmm. So I'm using Night and Navy. And there is our slim line. Oops, I actually forgot the adhesives. Or uh, not the adhesives, the gems. So I'm going to use the um, new 2022, sorry, 2023-2025 in-color dots. So they match all the in-colors. And as you can tell, I used mine a lot. Now, I'm actually going to have to order some more. So I'm gonna add these into the little centers. So the new in colors for 2023 and 2025 is Pebbled Path, Wild Wheat, Moody Mode, Copper Clay, and Boho Blue. Plus Stampin' Up! just did a color refresh and they brought back 11 new colors. Return, so some are returning. So there's I think there's four new colors and then seven returning colors. So if you're a fan of like Misty Moonlight and Lost Lagoon, you'll be excited they're back. All right, there is our project for tonight featuring a slim card using the Countryside in Designer Series paper and the Circle Saying Bundle. So that was a sample that we just did and I wanna show you the sample that I created so you can see what the look like, the card sketch looks like done two different ways. So that's that. And I'm going to show you some more samples done with this, this bundle. So I've created this card. Um, this was one we did in our last Facebook Live. Um, this uses like the Fresh Frisian, the Berry Burst. Uh, this is the Bright and, Brights and Beautiful Designer Series of paper. Um, I just stamped that stamp, layered it in the stitched um, style of shape dies, added some... Uh, parakeet party twine and then some rhinestones and then it just opens up like that so it's a fun one so let's just move these all over here so you can see them and then last night I did a Facebook live with my team and we did a mystery challenge and this was the card I created 
I actually just posted this to my blog tonight and I posted it on social media last night. So if you follow me with Stamp With Annie, you would have seen it. Um, I was saying in my, um, last night to my team, this was a mystery challenge. So all we were given was the cardstock measurements and the designer series paper. I really struggled. Like I actually had my card going this way. I had it straight. I had my paper designer. Like I played around with it until I came out with this design and I really like it. I feel like you could switch this up with so many different um, holidays and themes. So it's a good sketch. And then I also have two other ones that uh, two of my team members created. So this one was from Ashley. She used, look at that, this bright, no, bright and blue, that's a balloon set. What's, I forget what it's called. Let's figure out what it's called. I want to say bright and beautiful. Oh, balloon suite. Oh, the bright and beautiful balloon suite. Look at this. Right here, this die is like a fringe and it creates this fun look right here. So that's another fun one using the colors. So this is Berry Burst and I believe this is Lemon Lime Twist, which I love, 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 love Lemon Lime Twist. It was like my favorite color. I'm so happy it came back. So let me just move these in. And then um, the one I created just was a sample out of the catalog was like a stamping off. So this is Petal Pink with Copper Clay. And then I did the Boho Blue in the middle and I left my cupcake plain because I was trying to mimic the design in the catalog. I think their technique was stamping off. So like stamp solid and then stamp off to give you that layering. So as you can see, there's lots of ways you can use the circle saying bundle. And if you were to Google or search this on Pinterest or Google it on social media, you will find tons of samples out there. So many people have used this stamp set um, in this bundle. So thank you, Jessica Taylor, for creating such a wonderful bundle um, of stamp set and to coordinate with a wonderful punch that we could use for projects to come. All right, so let's do a little recap. These are the projects we made. To, well, these are the projects we made. This is the project we made tonight. Um, if you place a $50 order in my online store or email me your order, you will receive a pack of the new adhesive back gems. If you place a $75 order, I am going to send you the supply kit to make three fancy fold cards in um, in June. The only thing I can, I can die cut, I cannot stamp. So if you're wanting to create the cards exactly like I did, you're going to want a flower stamp or you're going to want the cheerful daisies and you could totally add that into your um, order or maybe you already have it and that would be a great way to give you three ideas using that fancy fold um, please like comment and share my video um, that helps grow our community if you have any questions um, about any of the products I use please let me know message me like message me on this video um, and I will be sure to answer and the best way to know about what I'm doing in my business is to join my newsletter email. And I will post a link on this video after I am done. I will post these measurements and the supplies I used to make these two cards. These were just samples that I shared with you. So thank you so much for joining us tonight in our weekly, on our crafty session. As I said, we're just doing one card tonight. Um, I'm changing things up, so we're going to see how things go, but I hope you enjoyed our project tonight, and I hope you will join us again um, when we go live again next Wednesday night. Oh, actually, it won't be next Wednesday night. It'll have to be a different night. Um, my daughter is coming home from her um, trip, so I need to go pick her up at the airport, So, and I don't think we would be back by 8. So I will probably do it Thursday. I'll tell you what night I'll do it, so I'll definitely just move it around to a different day. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great week. If you're here in Canada, have a great long weekend. Um, take some time to relax, rejuviate, uh, read some, read on the deck, or you know, maybe you're going to craft, maybe you're going to stand, maybe you're going to hang out with friends. Whatever you're doing, I hope you have a fabulous time. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye, everyone.